University Air Squadrons are training units under the command of NO. 6 Flying Training School RAF of the Royal Air Force and their main role is to attract students into careers as RAF officers. Primarily its goal is achieved through offering basic flying training, force development and adventure training to undergraduate students at British universities. These units exist to provide a taste of life in the service and to give experience to their members in preparation for taking up a career as an officer in one of the RAF's many branches. Members are expected to attend training nights, usually on a weekly basis, as well as attending several annual training camps. The flying syllabus of 31 sorties loosely follows elementary flying training and allows a student to achieve some 10 to 15 hours of flying per year. The flying training is supplemented with ground training and adventure training, both in the UK and abroad. UASs are part of the RAF Volunteer Reserve. Many are parents to air experience flights which provide experience of flying to air cadets. Most students hold the rank of officer cadet, which has the status and privileges, but not the rank, of an officer. Some, usually 4-5 students a year may obtain commissions in the RAF Volunteer Reserve, in the rank of acting pilot officer. Medicine and dentistry students, on obtaining a cadetship, are commissioned into the RAF in the rank of pilot officer, and are offered a salary. Following graduation cadets are promoted to flying officer while their medical training continues, prior to commencing initial officer training. On the run-up to World War II the squadrons were an important source of pilots for the RAF during the Battle of Britain. Cadets who were already members of the RAFER were called up for active service in the middle of studying for their degrees. Most UAS training is a cut-down version of EFT and focuses on training the student to various levels of solo standard. Manchester University Air Squadron Scottish Aviation Bulldog at RAF Woodvale in 1983 a Grob Tudor T1, belonging to the University of Birmingham Air Squadron. In flight over Scotland successful completion of the course syllabus qualifies the student pilot for the award of the preliminary flying badge, or budgie wings as they are sometimes called. However, each student is expected to reach solo standard before the end of their second year on the squadron. This has become one of the criteria for granting a student member a third year of membership. For those officer cadets who finish the course syllabus with time remaining on the squadron, an advanced syllabus has recently been introduced consisting of aerobatics, formation flying, and low-level navigation. There is no specific time requirement as with the course syllabus, as progress in the advanced phase is made at a rate by which the student pilot is able to achieve the desired results. Beyond flying, UASs follow a loose ground training syllabus. Although squadrons generally do not follow the syllabus as a training plan, the majority of subjects are covered at some point through the student's academic year. These can include attending adventure training expeditions, both overseas and within the UK, learning drill, undertaking a field craft exercise such as the recent strike exercises run from Rafe Cranwell, understanding the principles of air power and developing leadership skills. Air power force development experiences are also undertaken to encourage an understanding of air power in both a historical and contemporary context. As the UAS continues to move beyond its former role of providing elementary flying training to RAF direct entry students and UAS students, more and more ground training opportunities are becoming available. Making the UAS is more suitable for officer cadets pursuing careers in the military other than aircrew. However, the emphasis and priority remain on flying as the core function of each UAS. In 2003 it was estimated that 60% of pilots recruited into the Royal Air Force came through the UAS system. UAS officer cadets are required to participate in a minimum amount of training, one training night a week during the university terms, which usually entails a guest speaker presenting on an aspect of the RAF or the military to develop service knowledge, and a two-week period of continuous training in the summer. Most squadrons however also offer camps at Easter, Christmas, and September for officer cadets to undertake intensive blocks of sport, flying and adventure training. Additionally, Students are offered a limited number week-long summer vacation attachment at another RAF base, where they are seconded to an active regular RAF unit to learn more about their role. In accordance with the ground training syllabus, there are opportunities for officer cadets to participate in APDT. There are frequent squadron expeditions in areas within the UK and overseas in Europe as well as Peru, Canada, and Mongolia. Expeditions can include all manner of adventurous training, such as mountain biking, parachuting, alpine sports, rock climbing, abseiling, white water rafting, co-steering, gorge walking and canoeing. 
In accordance with the ground training syllabus, there are many opportunities for officer cadets to participate in inter UAS sports competitions. The UASs hold annual sporting competitions such as Birmingham Bristol Cambridge East Midlands East of Scotland Glasgow and Strathclyde. Liverpool Manchester and Salford London Northumbria Oxford Southampton Wales Yorkshire Northern Ireland University Air Squadrons. Thanks for watching.